This is a fascist in his final stage. He does not give a what logic or reason you have. He is ideologically driven. He wants to kill you. He wants to kill you if you are in my audience. Do you understand that? If you handed him a knife and you told him that he had no consequences, he would probably kill you. Bring in the court jester. I am I am in need of amusement from a clown of sorts. Ah, perfect, Michael Knowles. There he is. Ah, yes. Come on in. Come on in, son. Dance for me. Dance for my amusement. I would like to be off and also laugh. I would love amusement from a clown like you, Michael Knowles. Please proceed with your antics. Libs are not just implicitly embracing evil. Perfect start. I'm I'm amused already. This is great. They are now <laughs> Oh, Angels. Ah, no, wait. No spoiler. Are no. Just wait, wait. No, you can't spoil the act. Sorry, my bad. Implicitly embracing evil. They are now <laughs> very explicitly promoting it. There's a show Let's that's go. been making the rounds on it. social media. It's called Has Been Hotel. It's a cartoon. It's a kid's cartoon. Oh, yes, baby. I'm so ready, boys. Let's go. Dude, that you can get on Amazon Prime right now. And it's a defense of the devil. It's just a show, man. These people have never, like, just because somebody makes a comedy that is set in hell and the devil is not a bad guy. Like, South Park did this first. Why aren't you mad at South Park? Oh, is it because South Park doesn't like trans people? Oh, well, okay. Turns out the devil's not that bad of a guy in South Park. He literally gives therapy to one of his characters. Yeah, I know my South Park lore. I was a freak once, all right? Where's the, where's the outrage for that, huh? Oh, it's because it's in a cute Tumblr format, isn't it? It's because they're okay with gay people in the show, isn't it? Just be, people being gay in the show isn't like a core component of them being bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is not made for Reddit Once edgelord upon a time, incels. There was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Sounds angels great. that worshipped good and shielded all. Oh, look, biblically accurate angels, nice. All from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation, but he was seen as a trouble. Thankfully, Bibsy Pop, unlike Disney, is actually cool. So you can do this on your channel without them copyright striking you. Thankfully, nobody mentions that part though. Thank you, Vivzy Pop. Maker by the Christ. elders of heaven. What a breath of fresh air. His way air. of thinking was dangerous. Not to, to be worried about a copyright strike. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth, they created Adam and Lilith, equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Put a pause Adam. Here. So a lot of people are going to wonder, what Lilith? Who's Lilith? I know Adam and Eve. Who's Lilith? that? Is Satan's daughter, right? Lilith. Uh, Lilith is a figure from Jewish folklore. And uh, so it, Lilith is not a figure from scripture. Oh, no, wait. In this, I think in this rendition, it's uh, his wife because his daughter is uh, the main character. I forget her name. Lilith is not a figure, a figure from church tradition, but Lilith appears in the Babylonian Talmud and some other Jewish folklore. And uh, she's presented as the first wife of Adam Charlie, who right. refused to submit to Adam. Non binary uh, then emperor. Um, so already you're seeing a fairly, I mean, you've seen it from the beginning, of a fairly novel take on uh, the uh, creation story. Agreed so it goes far. On. But despite this, I like it. Adam demanded control and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her and- Adam's first wife, she wasn't subservient enough to God, so God made him another one from a rib. <laughs> Hey, listen, this one, this one's busted. It won't cook for me. Make a new one. Okay, dude. The two rebellious Gross. dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride. I won't Eve, do what I tell it. Gladly accept it. No matter how hard I whip it. But this Get gift came it. with a curse. For with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of oh, darkness. No, not evil. Oh, God, I'd never want that. I never want somebody tossing me out because I don't give them good enough s Oh, wait, that already happened. <laughs> In this story, that already happened. Darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain yeah, was shattered. Maybe it'll work harder. As punishment for their reckless act, 
Heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the My dark wife, pit I mean. he had that's, created, that's it. That's what never I'm allowing about. him to see the good, the good that guy, came from humanity. Pause there. So, <laughs> notice this little word they. I agree sneak with all. In there. Well, the only thing I disagree with Vipsy Pop on is that they didn't go hard enough. God is clearly the bad guy in that scenario. What the f do you mean evil? God created evil. Why don't you dig into that a little bit, Vipsy Pop? They didn't go hard enough, in my opinion. But as far as, in as far as this this goes, this is harder than anything mainstream tends to go. So kudos for that, at least. So, <laughs> notice this little word they sneak in there. They say, uh, Lucifer and his love. But of course, Lu Lucifer cannot love anyone. That's what, that's, oh, you're such a p Oh, Lucifer can't love, okay, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. The, the traditional understanding of this such a is whiny that a love is willing the good of the other person. Uh, so Fulton Sheen, or, uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, has a, a great distinction between love and sex, right? Love. Yeah, that's not accurate to the Lord. Did see, wait, wait, Satan's power level isn't high enough to feel love. He hasn't reached that power level yet. Don't you understand? You have to reach love power level 69 to get that. No pun intended. It's not canon. It's, about, it's not canon. Uh, yeah. Another person. It's fan about, fiction. Uh, it's fan fiction. Outside, even outside. This didn't really happen. Person, and it's about, in as much as it is about a person, it's about the whole person. Oh, okay. Right? Love gives. Sex, the way we talk about sex these days. You oh, know. if you ain't given something during sex, you're not doing it right, my friend. You have to give your all during sex. I promise you, okay? If you're not giving every last drop, you're doing it wrong. I promise you that sexual activity is a very giving activity. No, hook up at least if you're a real man culture say is purely about the self i think that's a problem he's not giving enough to his wife in as much as it's about another person it's just about using that other person's body to gratify the self it's about instrumentalizing people uh c.s lewis talks oh that's about this. projection buddy i ate my future wife out weeks ago what are the f are you doing for her huh oh that's that's projection on the highest level my friend f you you don't speak for us not for us real men out here in the screw tape letters. When uh, human beings talk about desire and love, it's about a, 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 a desire for another person. When the demons talk about desire and love, it's about a desire to Keep use yourself. the other person to devour him. It's about always coming back to the self. So there's no, there's no love in, in the traditional understanding of Lucifer. Uh, then, you know, these, these poor- If you don't have like loving feelings during sex, like that, first of all, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But second of all, if you're with somebody you love, I feel like that kind of is a bad thing. Because if you're with that person romantically, your sex should also be romantic in some capacity, I feel like. I feel like that's just healthy. A healthy extension of a romantic relationship. You can have sex without romance, but I, I feel like romance, if you have romance and you have sex with the person you romance, you should have romantic sex. You know, it should be a give and take. It shouldn't be just like, I want you on my day. It should be, are you enjoying this, sweetie? You know, are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. You know, like, like, compromise. I don't know. Like, it's, there should be some element of love. I feel like if you actually love your wife, maybe you don't. Hapless little rebels, you know, they're cast and they don't get to see the good that came out of their evil. But the traditional understanding is, and the true understanding is that the Garden of Eden was perfect. It was totally perfect. Yeah. And sin and death pervade the world. Except for the fact that there was a big tree in the middle that you couldn't eat the fruit off of i'll just leave this here god said yeah because man is tempted by adam and abuses his free Oopsie will do this this version of lucifer is more like a promethean view of he was not tempted by lucifer he's tempted by god the tree was sitting in the middle of the garden the snake was just like hey if you eat this you'll actually know sh you know that god's playing you for a f fool the, 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 the snake was the good guy it's like god thinks you're a f moron Eat the fruit and you won't be. Lucifer. This, this view of Lucifer is that Lucifer actually helps man to achieve his true potential. Yes. And so much more good came out of it, though there was a little I bit agree. of evil too. You know, life's kind of messy, man. Why is the tree uh, of knowledge bad? Keep if you think about it, I've talked about this before, and this is very tinfoil hat of me, but just bear with me. Think about this. What do conservatives want? They want you guys, everybody, to surrender control of everything. Over to them, okay? 
They, they don't want people to learn. Think about, think about the people that conservatives hate the most. Who are the three categories of people that conservatives hate the most? And they all have one thing in common. You ready? Here's my tinfoil hat conspiracy. They, they hate three groups of people the most. They hate reporters, they hate doctors, and they hate teachers. What do all three of those people do? They teach you, all right? Journalists teach you about the world. Doctors teach you about your body. And teachers teach you about how to function in society, okay? And they hate those people. All of them. They want them dead, okay? Where does that come from? It comes from the Bible. The tree of knowledge, man. I'm telling you. The tree of knowledge. They thought that was evil. But us real ones know that that was the moment that humanity became humanity and not just a puppet on God's finger, okay? That's where it all comes from. I'm telling you. This is my kid, this is my tinfoil hat conspiracy. I don't know how much I even believe it myself, but you know, I feel like that that bleeds together pretty cleanly. Go ahead. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. This is guy to, but uh, Lilith thrived, empowering demon kind with her I voice we were and him her for songs. Second. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Okay. You Every time I think about the Daily Wire, by the way, the one guy, I forget, I, I, I remember Jordan Peterson better than I remember Michael Knowles. He is so forgettable. You get it. Just saying. Yeah. What's funny, from the very beginning, they say Lilith was an equal with Adam. But, it, but Eve is presented, in a way, as an equal with Adam, too, because Eve is taken. You, know you know what he is? He's like the worst parts of all of them, and then like muted down to like a two. He is like, if you have spoiled milk, He's like the spoiled skim milk. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even like good. You know, it's 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 just like nobody likes it. Like, I wouldn't even drink you if it were the only thing within the vicinity to drink. You know, like at least Matt Walsh is 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 has turned the the dip dial all the way up. He has turned the evil dial all the way up. You're like a a, a, a muted version of that, a castrated version of that even. Which is funny because Matt Walsh himself is probably already castrated, okay? So, like, that's saying something. It's it's pathetic, man. I respect Matt Walsh more than I respect you. That's saying something, okay? Why don't I remember your name? Ever. Literally. I remember all the rest of them. Taken from Adam's rib. So not from his head. She's not above Adam. Not from his foot. She's not below Adam. It's from his rib. Though they have different roles and they're complementary. And so she does submit to Adam. I mean, you hear this in Genesis chapter three when they're about to leave the Garden of Eden and Adam is called on to love Eve. Here though, you get a mixture of Satanism and feminism. And the, the show is what? listed as being for mature audiences. But do you really think kids aren't gonna watch that show? If their parents let them, sure, but that's a parental problem. What, are you a bad parent? Let your kids watch Has Been Hotel? You know what's in that show? Don't let them watch that. What happened to the parents? Their responsibility. I thought we were all about parental responsibility. What, you don't want to feed kids at schools, but suddenly you trust the parents to like, no, I mean, sorry, you don't trust the parents to control what their kids watch. You have to control that, right? You have to take care of the kids all of a sudden, but they don't eat, right? You don't worry, you know, it's not, it doesn't matter if they eat, just as long as they don't see the dirty show. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, South Park was for <clears throat> mature audiences. Kids loved South Park, myself included. And though there's some naughty stuff in South Park, relatively to true. the rest of the wait, culture. Wait, wait, wait. You're admitting that you watch South Park. Clearly, you turned out so fine, right? You know what? Maybe we should ban kids from watching South Park. True. It's not so bad. You South it. Park has that a broadly a normal and conservative message. This, uh, not so much. So, the, hmm. the right... Wait, relatively wait, wait, wait. to the rest of the culture. Wait, 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 wait. I, mean, I, I remember when again. I was a kid, South Park was for mature audiences. Well, kids loved like. South Park, myself included. And though there's some naughty stuff in South Park relatively to the rest of the culture, it's not so bad because South Park has a broadly normal and conservative message. There it is. There it is. It, he's saying it. It, it. it doesn't matter what reasons you give him. Okay. This is completely delusional. He, he has lost the plot. Okay. This is a fascist in his final stage. He does not give a what logic or reason you have. He is ideologically driven to want to kill you. He wants to kill you if you are in my audience. Do you understand that? If you handed him a knife and you told him that he had no consequences, he would probably kill you. I say that with all sincerity. He would probably kill you. I believe that he would do that. This is what we're dealing with, okay? He's a disgusting little freak. This, uh, not so much. So, the, the right is up in it's arms. It's naughty, but it's conservative, so it's fine. so shocked. Can you believe what the culture has come to, that they would do this? They literally kill kids in that show, by the way. They kill Kenny every episode. He's 10. 
I'm not shocked at all. None of this is surprising. None of this but is that's new. Fine. None of that's this fine is for original. kids to see that. This is the same thing you see in the first pages of Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals. Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals, the first edition, has, just after the dedication, an acknowledgement uh, to Lucifer, that first rebel. Killing kids in the show isn't even the worst. Here, you know what? You, oh, man, am I going to get copyright struck for this? I don't, you, I don't care. You know what? It. He, he deserves this. This goes past money for me. Uh, content warning. He's fine with kids watching this, by the way. I came just in time to see Mr. Dinkins giving his report to Officer Bar Brady. And of course, to steal the bodies. Do you like it? Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman Chili. He's fine with kids watching that. Who lost heaven but won himself a kingdom. Demonetize me, see what I care. My activism. And Saul Alinsky's left-wing activism is is the kind of community organizing that directly inspired Hillary Clinton. She wrote letters to Saul Alinsky that inspired Barack Obama, that inspired the modern Democrat Party. He, he says, my leftist activism is Satanism, <laughs> is Luciferianism, is we- I don't care. You think that South Park is fine. So if that's your conservative family values, then f*** your values. Our inspiration- That you believe kids will go to if they like take gender pills or whatever is not God. Our ins inspiration is not our Lord Jesus Christ. Our inspiration is the devil. And Amazon says, yeah, cool. based that, what he said. Okay, yeah, that's what we've been seeing from the beginning. Guess what? The devil doesn't want transgender kids to kill themselves. So maybe maybe the devil's better than God. I don't know. Man, I don't know. If, if that's what you think, then maybe the devil's wor more worth worshiping than your God, your, your awful, terrible, like, what, what God do you even worship, man? Oh, he doesn't like transgender kids. F your God, then I hate him. I hate him. He's the he's the worst. Leftism from the beginning has been a rebellion against God. Based it, 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 leftism, the term comes from the National Assembly during the French Revolution, when the people on the right of the Assembly Hall supported the Church and the King, and the people on the left of the Assembly Hall opposed the Church and the. Why the. F but I support the king. Why do I have a king? I don't support kings. I don't live in a monarchy. I'm not a cuck like you. Legitimate authority. It's always a king is, no, a king will never be a legitimate authority. Never. It doesn't exist. We live in the United States, you un-American bastard. You bastard. Go back to your own damn country. Yo, you want a king so bad? Go back to Britain. They just got a king. All right? Go lick his ass. We live in America. I, I vote. All right? I vote for my leader. Go lick King uh, Henry's ass or whatever his name is. Get out of my country. You don't like it here? You don't like democracy? Get out. Kings are not legitimate. Never. I'll never accept that. It's been about that. Man. Not unless they're it goes the all the way king. back to the Garden of Eden when men say, ye shall be as gods. That's what, that's what it goes back to. It goes back to the Tower of Babel when men tried to become higher than God. And in their pride, they were scattered all around the world. And had they just put themselves at the foot of Calvary, on their knees, they would have actually been the inheritors of a far greater uh, gift. I kneel to no God. You cannot make me kneel. I did not consent to that. I kneel for my fiance and that's it. <laughs> when she asks me politely, <laughs> that's it. I kneel to no other person. You understand me? To, to Get your God out of God. my sight. You know, uh, he's not worth my Satan time. here in this story, is just he's motivated out of charity no and no love kings. for mankind. Satan is, by definition, devoid of charity. It, it, what really happened is, and then the, the United goddamn states of America, f*** your authority. Don't tell me what to do. You. Additional telling. How dare you Satan call Satan is envious American. of man. Why is he envious of man? Some say he's envious of God's power. I don't think, maybe that's some of it. But he's also envious of man, because man is, is made lower than the angels. He's flat. that? But he's also envious of man because man. Uh -huh. What's going on there, Michael? What's that? As you're saying, man. I've seen the films, Michael. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. This is the least, the least bad part about you. It's okay. We support you. And this is made lower than the angels. He's fleshy. The, 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 the D oh, gets fleshy. Right the Ew. Say, Ew. TMI. Spirit. No longer supporting. Yeah, that's true. And man is made lower than the angels. But in the incarnation, your, when God ugh. becomes flesh and oh, dwells he's bottoming. Us, he's bottoming for the angels is what he's saying. I just, take your fanfic out elsewhere, man. Ew. Horny on main. That exactly. That incarnation elevates Ew. man above the angels. And Satan couldn't stand that, which is why he hates man. Ew. And 
tempts man is, is constantly trying to you're devour tempting. our souls, including- if you're so tempted, just go f*** him, man. It's not that hard. Like, listen, it's okay to just say yes sometimes, all right? Say yes to Satan. He's, he's fine. Just submit. You want to get on your knees so bad for somebody, get on your knees for Satan. What's the difference? At least he supports trans rights, apparently, according to you. Through silly little cartoons that are now appearing on Amazon. Nothing new. It's been the story South Park is fine, for all of history. By the way. South Park is fine, but not uh, Hasbin Hotel. Uh, did Hasbin Hotel have a child of 10 years old kill another child's parents and feed them to him as chili? I don't think they did. I think that they just had, like, you know, sexual references. Which, if I had to pick, you know, it'd be a tough choice, to be honest. But I might go with the sexual references, because at least eventually they'll have to deal with that anyway. They'll never in their life have to deal with another piece of content, probably, if I had to guess, Having a 10-year-old kid kill their parents and feed them to them as chili. That's pretty f***ed up, I feel like. But no, it's fine with Michael Knowles, family values man, by the way. Totally fine with that guy. Because, you know, it's conservative. It's fine. That's family values. That's fine. That's totally fine. Everyone sucks but me. Have I mentioned that in the stream yet? I'm just saying. You guys should give all of your money to me if you can afford it. If you can't, take care of yourself first. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Michael Knowles is a, ch uh, a f chump. A cuck. He is definitely a cuck. I will say that. No doubt in my mind. That man wants a king to reign over him so badly. Reign over him all night. Just like the video. It's a good video. You should make more. Honestly. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash alecguntertv slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.